Care Blazer, do you ever sometimes feel like your past is stopping you from having the future you want? Or anytime something happens negative to you or you have some sort of difficult response to something, you immediately go to your past to explain why you're having that reaction. In today's video, I want to talk about something that is keeping so many people stuck. It's keeping Care Blazers stuck, keeping them feeling down, and worst of all, keeping them feeling like they have no chance at feeling better and that there's nothing they can do to improve their situation. So this is such an important topic that anybody can apply. In fact, even if you aren't really feeling like you have something really negative in your past that's holding you back. If you have any sort of beliefs that sound like nothing ever works out for me, things always go against me, my life is hard, any of that sound like it resonates with you, keep watching. If you're new here, my name is Natalie Edmonds. I am a board certified Gero psychologist and one of the reasons I do videos like this every week is because at least once a week somebody contacts me and says, I wish I would have known about you when my loved one was still alive. Those are the hardest words for me to hear and so this is my attempt to reach as many people out there looking for caregiving support and help and information so that I can one day never hear those words that they wish they would have known about me when they are alive. So let's dive into today's video. I was talking to somebody recently and in fact this kind of conversation happens quite a bit but in particular one person was standing out to me. I was having a conversation and she was going through an experience caring for her husband with dementia and everything that she said she had a reason why she couldn't feel better because of it. Basically, she's had some things happen in her past. And because of those things happening in her past, which she described as trauma, because she went through a traumatic experience in her past, everything that happens to her now is worse. And she's not able to move through it because she has had this past experience. Now, caveat here, if you have had traumatic experiences in your past, you absolutely want to talk with a licensed mental health professional to help work through that trauma. But for this particular individual, she has worked with licensed mental health professionals. She continues to work with licensed mental health professionals through her trauma. So this really is a video for people who have worked through it, or feel like they're done all they can to process that trauma, of course it's always going to be with you. It's always going to be a part of your life. However, what I want to suggest is something that can help you. Instead of keeping you feeling like no matter what happens in the future, you always have the trauma to blame. This is what I want to ask all of you. If your life was a movie, what would the title of your movie be? Answer that question. Actually, let me know in the comments below. This would be fun because I'm gonna have a follow-up question for you here in a couple of minutes. Right now, if your life was a movie, what would be the title of your movie? Would it be the girl who couldn't get anything right? The boy who always had the world against them? The woman with the weight of the world on her shoulders? The person where nothing ever goes their way? What is the title of your movie if you had to put a title on it right now? And what I want to suggest is that you can change the title of that movie at any point. But what ends up happening for so many people is life happens and then they look to their past for why that makes it harder and why they can't move forward. I even have a family member who does this. She doesn't think her family should have been the way that they are. She thinks her family should be differently. And so every time something negative or unfortunate happens in her family now, she immediately goes to the past about all of these things that have happened and why it makes this harder. Now the important thing to know here is none of that makes it easier. You blaming the past for something you're going through now, how does that help your situation? Honestly, ask yourself that question. How does that help your situation currently to blame something that happened in the past, which by the way, you can't change at all. No matter what happened, we can't change any of it. We can't change that that thing happened, but we can change the power we are giving it over our lives today. And so many people are giving their past all of the power for what they're going through today. And I want to suggest that's optional and you don't have to make that happen. So for instance, let's say your loved one wasn't really the greatest spouse to you 
when you were married before dementia entered the picture. And now dementia's in the picture. Maybe their frontal lobes are a little bit diminished and they continue to say mean things and they're not the nicest. And every time they do that, you attribute it, well, they've never been nice to me. They've always been horrible. They've always done these things. How does doing that help you in the moment right now? Some people get it all confused and they think, well, if I don't blame it on them or on their past or how they've always been, or I don't blame it on my past, then I'm giving them an out. I'm giving them an excuse. I'm letting them get away with something, or I'm letting myself get away with something, or I'm letting the people who contributed to my trauma get away with something. But that's not true. All that is happening when you blame your past for something that is happening now is that you are feeling horrible. You are feeling worse and you're making it so there's nothing you can ever do in the future to feel better so long as you have the past that you have, which by the way, you will always have the past that you have. What I want to suggest is maybe you are in the middle of your movie, which is actually more realistic because you are still living here watching this video. So if you wanted to create a new title for your life, a new movie title for your life, what do you want that title to be? Do you want it to be the trauma I could never escape, the trauma that haunted me, how things will never go my way. Is that the title of the movie you want? I am guessing the answer is no. I hope the answer is no. If the answer is yes, well then maybe that's something to delve into in a therapy session in terms of what are you getting out of making this past something that is so alive in your current day, right? Where it's, of course it's going to still impact us. Of course it's still going to be there. We can't erase those negative things from happening, but we can decide what we make current things mean. And so long as you're making current things mean they're happening or worse because of things in your past, things will always be worse because you can't change the past. Does that make sense? Leave a yes if this is resonating. So what do you want your new title of the story to be? The girl who overcame hardships, the man who could get through everything, the person who rised above all, the strength I never knew I had, hope that was found from a dark place. Notice it can still be the same backstory. You're not changing your history, but you are starting to change how you are perceiving and interpreting and experiencing the life that you have now. Horrible, hard, difficult circumstances will happen in your life whether you've had a really hard past or whether you haven't had a really hard past. And what you make that mean is really important. And I want to encourage you if you are somebody who constantly makes current day situations worse because of something that happened to you in the past, I wanna encourage you to stop telling that story. Just stop making it mean something from your past because we cannot change that. You can make it mean your human. Life is sometimes hard. There's the 50-50 of life or 50% of the time things are hard, 50% of the time things are easy. You can make it mean that you're alive. You can make it mean that sometimes hard things happen. You can make it mean so many true things that have nothing to do with this past that you keep alive that is not serving you. And I am particularly making this video for people who are bringing things from their past that you know do not help you, do not serve you. How does it serve you to constantly talk about that thing that happened that you don't like and that you wish didn't happen? How does it help you? I really want you to answer it. You might have a good reason, I would love to know it, but you might have a really good reason that you're keeping it. But for many of you, if you ask yourself that question and you answer it honestly, you might discover it's really not helping me at all. And every time I blame my life past circumstances on why this current thing is hard, I feel powerless and I feel like a victim and I feel like there's nothing I can do to improve my life because I can't change that thing. So sometimes, especially for those of you who have gone through trauma therapy or gone through any other therapy, have processed your past, for some of you, the best thing is to stop bringing it into your future. When your brain does that, you can literally say, yes, that is something that happened in my past that is unfortunate, but this is something I'm dealing with now and unfortunate things can happen now no matter what and I'm going to get through this as well. So it's really about the story of your life. What do you want it to be? Many of us are living the story of our life from things that have happened in the past rather than living the story of your life from how you want it to be in the future. If you had the story, the trauma that kept impacting my life, guess what? Everything that happens is going to be related to the trauma that impacted your life. However, 
if you have the story of the resilience I built through the years, then everything that happens is going to be about you building resilience. Which story do you want? You can build either one. But I do think it's important as a question to ponder and ask which reality are you living in? Are you living more in the reality of the past that you can't change? Or are you living more into the reality of the future where you have so much more control? And as hard as it may be to fully grasp, it really starts with what we are thinking about what we are going through right now. Terrorblazer, I'm sending you this from the bottom of my heart. It is not to discount any hardships, not to discount any pain, not to discount any trauma. All of those things make an impact on our lives. But so many of us are keeping it more alive and keeping it more present because of the stories we keep repeating to ourselves and because of how we make everything that's happening currently, we attach it to the thing that happened in the past. When, even if that thing never happened in the past, these things could still be happening currently, how do you want to think about them now? How do you want to think about your future? What is your future movie title? What is the title of the movie you are in right now? What do you want it to be? Leave it below, inspire another Careblazer with the title of your future movie, what you want it to be, and then you're the leading role in that movie. So you get to go through it. And when hardships happen, setback happens, something gets derailed, like what happens in every movie, you're just in the middle of it. You're just, it's another plot twist. We haven't seen the ending yet. And that ending is entirely up to you, no matter what is going around in your outside circumstances. This video was prompted because I have seen and I have talked to several people recently who keep bringing, it's like this big luggage that they're bringing with them every time something current happens and it's just making it harder. Real life is hard enough alone without giving it all of this meaning that we don't have to give it. We don't have to attach it to all of that stuff that happened in the past, okay? Was this too hard or too harsh? I hope it doesn't come across harsh and I hope if you've been with me for a while, you know where this is coming from. This is coming from a place of compassion and deep caring and truly wanting you to feel better, somebody who is sacrificing a lot to care for your loved one. And I know going through a lot of hard emotions naturally as part of the caregiving process, I don't want you to add unnecessary suffering on top of that, especially if you are somebody who has talked about it, processed with it, going through therapy, you've done all those things. Sometimes. Just catch yourself when you are going back to that old story and making that be the reason you're going through this hard time now. I am sending you so much love and I look forward to reading some of your titles below. If you're interested in joining my care course with live support, you can join me and other amazing care blazers. There is a free link below that you can click on a free training to go over three things to help reduce your overwhelm. And at the end of that training, I do describe in detail what my program is all about and whether or not you might be a good fit for that program. So you can feel free to opt in to that training below. Sending you love, take care, bye. Also, Nico gets a belly rub for every person who subscribes from this video. So if you haven't already, click the red subscribe button. It's totally free. And Nico says, thank you very much.